I like writing books. Why? It's the most fun for me. I'm in con complete control. Um, my name's on it. I live and die by it. You know, if you don't like it, it's my fault. But if you do, it's, it's on me, too. Crime is rule for three best-selling authors who get down and dirty to learn the corruption of the underworld for their novels. I just had to get into the crime uh, genre uh, and, and learn it and know, and know what it was all about. The uh, dialogue, the stuff you hear, mm -hmm. the, the way they tell stories, the way they talk. And the, the valuable thing for me was when I got into the offices, it wasn't the, the paperwork and the procedure and all that. It was being able to sit at somebody's desk and, and somebody's personal desk and look up on the cork board there and see, you know, photographs of their kids right next to f photographs of mutilated corpses or right. morgue photos. And, and then you have um, icons and religious imagery and all these things that, that tell you a lot about the people that you're writing about. And um, it was great. There's nothing like getting in there like that. With novels so popular, Hollywood came running and produced critically acclaimed hits in both television and film. <laughs> well, uh, Get Shorty? Get Shorty, Jackie Brown, mm -hmm. and uh, Out of Sight. Out of Sight. And uh, there was some Mr. And Ma Mr. Majestic is, is, I wrote the screenplay in 74, and it's still paying residuals today. And that's, that's quite an accomplishment. Working with people like, uh, like Richard Price and David Simon and Dennis Lehane on, on that particular TV show, The Wire, made me a better writer, I think, just being around those guys and being in a writing room with them and, and talking things out. Uh, Clint Eastwood did a film of one of your books. Mm -hmm. That's the only one that's, right. that's been a film. Yep. Join host Gene Edwards with guests Elmore Leonard, Michael Connolly, and George Pelicanos. So, at the Writers' uh, Roundtable as they talk good. about crime culture uh, well, and discuss it. everything yeah, from uh, ideas for their words, stories. I, <laughs> you get an idea and then you go with it. I saw a picture of a, of a woman marshal in front of a courthouse in Florida where some, some Colombians were being tried for you know, drugs. And she was standing with, her, with a shotgun on her hip. And next to her was a kind of a beefy marshal, and uh, and she was good looking, and I and I looked at her and I said, she's a book. <laughs> this happened. I had a story where um, a suspect um, had a parrot, and when the cops knocked on the door, the parrot said, "Come in." So they entered and found <laughs> drugs and guns, <laughs> and that really happened in L.A. and was the subject of a um, you know a court battle whether they really had a permission to enter the apartment to their own personal writing process. Yeah, I'm superstitious. I can't write anywhere but my office at my house. I don't have a laptop or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And then I write at night, uh, I rewrite at night, and um, I'm ready to go forward the next day. And if I stay in that, in that zone, if I keep working seven days a week, I can get a clean manuscript um, five or six months. You, do you do an outline? No, I, I, it's all about the zone, get to the zones. I read some of the old ones in the morning just to get into the mood of it, in, into the rhythm of the writing. There was, there was one I just and their beloved there. characters who keep it's readers fun. hungry for more. But why do you want to come back to characters? Well, I like them. I like them and miss them. And I want to see what they're doing now and get them in action again. You know, one thing that I learned going around the country with Mike is that listening to the people in the audience is that um, they really love that character. Why? I think they, they really feel attached to that, to that man and, and they would take it personally if Mike ever <laughs> let go of him. <laughs> and, and you don't see that too often. And I, I don't think many writers have pulled it off. Um, James Lee Burke has done it with Dave Robichaux and mm -hmm. Harry Bosch and there's a few others, but most people can't keep it fresh and, and the books suffer, but Mike has done a tremendous job, so. Yeah, you gotta create a character that hooks into people, but there's something that, w that readers are looking for. I don't know whether it's a comfort of seeing a uh, character again or what. Yeah. Tune in as Gene Edwards great goes great behind the yellow character. tape with yeah. Elmore Leonard, Michael Connolly, and George Pelicanos to explore their characters, the so 10 right. rules of writing, and the literary world of social <laughs> crime fiction these three authors have dominated.